So a while ago I made this video called Introvert vs. Extrovert and it was received kind of poorly. People liked it better than my Ron Paul video at least. If you click on that video now there's a big ass disclaimer annotation at the beginning of it but I still feel like I should explain it better. And I meant to do this a long time ago but Charlie is so cool like recently made a video about being introverted and it kind of reminded me that I needed to do this. The main problem with that old video is that I misused the word introvert and the word extrovert and I made it seem like being an introvert was bad and the extroverts were better. And obviously a lot of people on the internet consider themselves introverts so it kind of sounded like I was coming at you bro. Now in actuality an introvert is a someone whose energy expands when they're by themselves and dwindles when they're interacting with other people. While on the other hand extroverts are energized when socializing and find less value in solitude. And there's definitely value in both of these dispositions. Extroverts often become teachers and social activists while introverts often become inventors and artists and video bloggers but I guess I'm sort of an exception to that. So in that old video instead of introverted and extroverted I meant to say antisocial and social and social. And I fully believe that being antisocial is different than being introverted and I also believe that being antisocial is bad. I also believe that a lot of the time people use the label introverted to justify being antisocial, which I also think is bad. See, the scientist man said that the way I am is perfectly normal. Don't try to change me. Now, it could just be my experience, but most people that I've met that consider themselves introverted are usually shy and awkward. And if that's not you, then you know that you're not who I'm talking about. But but I fully 100% believe that being shy and awkward are things that you'd be better off not being. Now everyone gets nervous sometimes, but you shouldn't get nervous anytime you're in the presence of another human being. It's sort of weird even talking about this, like there's two distinct groups of human beings like at war with each other or something. I mean, you can't divide people in the two bubbles apart from each other. We're all on the same line, we're just at different points on the line. And how awesome we are as people has much more to do with how honest and kind we are than whether we like going to parties or not. A common idea I hear from introverted people is that they believe that the world is like trying to change them. And all I can say about that is whether you're introverted or extroverted, never ever think that you figured everything out and that there's no more room for change or improvement. And never scoff at people when they're honestly trying to help you, whether you think you need that help or not. Now Charlie mentioned that when he goes to VidCon, he's gonna try his best to meet and talk to as many people as possible. And that's probably gonna be really uncomfortable for him because he's an introvert. But as it happens, sometimes in life you have to try uncomfortable things to grow and gain new perspectives. And this goes for everyone, from introverts to extroverts. It's something I'm learning myself every day.